Welcome back to another video review for FridayThe13thFranchise.com. My name is Jason Parker. I am the editor and webmaster of the website. And today we're going to take a look at Nika's brand new release, Ultimate Edition, of Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Uh, the first figures of the 7.5 inch size that were released from Nika were way back in 2013. And there were actually two figures released. Uh, one was what was called the regular Jason, and that was before he got the machete in the side of his face. And that figure came with a machete and an axe. And then Nika released at the same time a second figure, which was looked at as the battle damage Jason. Now that one came with uh, a butcher knife and also a machete. Uh, and then with that, with that figure, you could put the machete into the side of Jason's face and kind of reenact the ending. Uh, after Tommy took care of business. So for this new Ultimate uh, Edition of Jason release, they decided to kind of combine both of those two figures into one. And not only did they include the butcher knife, the axe, and the machete that was previously released, but they also include some really awesome um, additions in terms of the weapons that were used in the film. And of course, something that everyone's really been looking forward to is the uh, grave Pamela Voorhees' grave uh, that we saw in the beginning of the film. Now, it's down here. Now, this isn't the first time that Pamela's grave has been included in a uh, release of Jason uh, for Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Uh, Mesco actually released a, a part four figure uh, as part of their Cinema Fear uh, line, you know, a few years back, maybe five, six years ago. And they also included the uh, the grave for Pamela Voorhees, which is a really nice addition. And I know something that a lot of fans have been asking for in variety packs or accessory packs from Nika is that we could get like Pamela Voorhees gravestone, we could get the Camp Crystal Lake sign, maybe get Jason's gravestone from Part Six. So this is something kind of really cool that they brought back for the fans who didn't have the opportunity to get the final chapter figure from Mesco Toys. So that's a nice addition. Um, also, you got the infamous corkscrew from the scene that uh, Jimmy kind of asked, where's the damn corkscrew? And then Jason proceeds to slam his uh, hand into the uh, cutting board. And then they also added into this set the meat cleaver, which also gets used on Jimmy as part of that scene where he gets it slammed into his face. And if you look over here, they also included the, um, the hacksaw or the bone saw. And fans of that film will remember that the, uh, that was used in the beginning of the film on Axel while he's watching the aerobicizing video. And then down there, there's the axe and machete that was uh, released originally with uh, the first two figures uh, back in 2013. And so those are the accessories that came with uh, the Ultimate Edition. Like I said, really cool, very unique weapons to, the, to that specific film and something that fans, I'm sure, will be very happy to have when they own this if they don't already uh, own the figure. And then over here, this is the packaging that it came in. Um, just use the, uh, the normal poster art from the film. And then there's the side which is really cool side uh, art for the, for the packaging. And then there's the back of the box. Some really cool action shots of Jason with the, the hacksaw and then also what we talked about before with the uh, machete going in the side of his face. Uh, I also like the, the fall scenery with the leaves with the gravestone. I thought that was a really cool job that they did with that. And then there's the figure itself. <clears throat> the figure comes with both the battle damaged and then semi battle damage from part three head of Jason. And right here, there we go, we'll take a close look there. Nika did a really good job on the head skull for this figure. And I've been saying this in the past before with the hockey mask that they release. I think that they, that Nika as a company is still highly underrated in terms of the detail that they they lend to not only the hockey masks that they create for the seven and a half figure and also the one-to-one -one scale, 
but also the the designs of Jason's face in general. I know a lot of people think that you know custom uh, people who do custom work make the best, and it's very possible. But I think Nika needs to be given credit for the detail that they put into not only the hockey masks but the sculpts for Jason's uh, head and the body as well. And if you can see, I mean, that's pretty accurate to the film. I think they did a hell of a job on that. Even that on the bottom jawline with the teeth sticking out to the right, that's very screen accurate. And also, just looking at the hockey mask for Jason in this particular scene, I mean, all people who follow the film or, or big fans of this particular film know that as the movie wears on, the chevrons themselves, they... Uh, they start to wear off the mask and then at the very end you just have half a triangle chevron on top where the eyebrow is and earlier in the film they don't they have almost all red chevrons so it's just really screen accurate I mean a lot of companies may just make these and not go through the trouble of, of actually doing that and you can actually see where the chevrons were before just like in the film so also at the very top where the uh, axe mark is put in the mask you can see that little kind of a crack ridge line going running down into the eye hole, the left eye hole. That's just like in the film. So, I mean, they did their homework. They did a really good job on the hockey mask. I think they did a really good job on the uh, face sculpt there. And then you have the figure itself. And I think the figure in general is probably pretty similar to what was released previously. I think they may have, did, may have, may have done some retooling on that. But overall, I, I think the figure is awesome. I think they did a really good job on this. Um, let's kind of scan through here. It has good articulation. Um, also, this particular figure does come with an extra hand that you can attach. Uh, that way you can uh, grasp onto a few more of the uh, weapons that come with. Because I think the one, the one hand that's attached right now doesn't, it's not able to hold all the weapons. And there's a good close-up shot of Jason standing up. And even the work on this is done really, really well. Again, I can't. I just. I think. I think Nika gets it. They're underrated with their with their Jason figures. I think fans appreciate them when they're released, but I. I really think they do a, a really, really good job, especially for something that's mass produced. I don't think there's anybody out there better right now. So, but that's it, guys. That is the. Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, the final chapter, Ultimate Edition. Uh, Jason figure, 7.5 inches from Nika, uh, uh, Nika Toys. And uh, that, thank you very much for watching our review. Thanks to Nika for providing the, uh, the figures for the fans to enjoy. And keep an eye out for our next video review coming soon of the Sideshow Part 3 uh, Jason figure. Take care, everybody, and thanks again for visiting the website, and we'll catch you next time.